Hey guys, what's up? It's Taraji. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would just kind of sit down and literally do a get ready with me. Um, I have to get ready to go to work in like two hours. So I thought I would just sit down and, you know, talk through myself getting ready. It's not going to be like a super advanced makeup look because this isn't really a tutorial. It's just me kind of literally getting ready. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. My toner, I use the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. I don't really have problem skin, but I just like it. Yeah, that's nice. All right, now that that's kind of settled in, I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. And lately my skin's been super dry for some reason. I don't really know why. Like, I don't know if it's because of like the weather here in New York, like it's cold and snowing one day and then the next day it's like, oh, it's 95 degrees outside and then the next day it's like a blizzard. So like my skin is just acting crazy, but I've been using the Shea Moisture Head to Toe Nourishing Hydration. Um, it's just coconut oil to sum it up. Like I don't know why the name is so long. It's literally just coconut oil. Like that's the ingredient. So. If I sound kind of congested, it's because I have really, really bad allergies, like really bad. And when I first wake up in the morning, um, I have to sneeze like 52 times. And I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but it's literally true. Like ask anybody that knows me. I literally wake up and sneeze like 50 times. And then I'm like, I'm good for the day. And then when I get tired again, I sneeze like another 52 times. I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. Like I have no idea. I've never heard of anybody like having the sneezing issue just in the morning and right before they go to bed. But like... That's my life. Yeah. Um, okay. What should I do first? Eyebrows? Let's do brows. I have this whole like chest of drawers. I'll show you guys. And this is what I store all of my makeup in. Um, it's usually organized for the most part, but right now it's not organized. I love having this time in the morning when it's just my house is really, really, really quiet because my little brother's at school both of my parents are at work and like I just have the house to myself and it's quiet and I can just drink my coffee sneeze in peace without anybody complaining like on the weekends and just live my life like you know what I'm saying like this this is my me time right now and I really really cherish this <laughs> so anyway let me find an eyebrow brush all right so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows I literally got them threaded yesterday that's why they're so irritated and there's like lumps right here. But it's fine, we're gonna power through, it's gonna be all right. I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in months because I was trying to do them myself. I don't really know why, but um, I was I was trying. Um, I'm gonna be doing my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm really not gonna fill them in, I'm mostly gonna focus on the tail because they're freshly done, so. trying my hardest not to sniffle because I know it could be super annoying do you guys hear that it's silence it's so good. I really want to do something different with my hair I just don't know what yet I've decided to go natural in a sense that I'm not gonna perm my hair not like I'm gonna be walking around with my afro I mean I tried it I did try it it wasn't for me <laughs> I'll just say that um, it's just because my hair is not at the length that I would want it if I'm wearing it out yet right now you know like I'm a little insecure about it because I'm not used to having it out oh this is just the elf brow gel by the way I really want to try the Anastasia one but like I'm poor but yeah, I tried the little afro. It's not really my cup of tea. I'm used to having, you know, long, thick, luscious body waves and whatnot. So I'm natural in the sense where I'm not perming my hair anymore. I don't know, but yesterday, Jayla, I'm sure you guys follow her, Jayla Corian on YouTube. She launched like her hairline and I was just like, so I'm going to try to be natural and you're going to launch a whole weave line. 
she's my favorite youtuber i'm obsessed with her i've literally been watching her for like years and i feel like i know her i actually did meet her at beautycon and she was super super nice and she took like three snapchats with me because we kept messing them up and she was like no do another one do another one like she was so nice and i'm so happy she was so nice because i love her you know but anyway she lost her hairline and one i just want to support her so like i want to buy it and two like i kind of want to weave now you know what i'm saying i want a really nice like silk pajama set where can i get that like macy's i don't know i feel like i just want like silk pajamas is that weird what am i gonna use today this is my foundation and concealer drawer <laughs> i kind of want to use these together i'm gonna go in with my revlon color stay foundation in the shade 400 caramel and i'm gonna mix it with my l'oreal true match lumi in the shade sable and i'm taking my elf small stipple brush i'm gonna mix them up and put it on my face my mom told me that my my l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation is that what it's called yeah and the shade coco was too dark for me so she told me to chill on that um so that's why i'm using these today but i do really like these foundations by themselves and i like them together as well this is like my go-to sponge it gets so like large when you wet it and it's so squishy it's better than a beauty blender and the beauty blender is 20 dollars, and this is only like 7.99 What concealer am I using today? Tarte Shape Tape. I'm trying to wait till my eyes finish tearing before I apply concealer there. I need to get a new one of these concealers because I'm already running out. My friend Corwin put me onto this. He works in Ulta and he was like, girl, you need to try this concealer. He was like, wait till we get the shade deep in and then freaking come and get it because you need it. And I was like, all right, boo, if you say I need it, I need it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So my boyfriend and I have been watching Game of Thrones just because literally everybody talks about it and we just felt really left out and we were like, all right, we need to just watch this show because like, what is all the hype about? We are upset. On episode one, we were obsessed. Like, that's how you know a show is good. If you on the first episode are like, whoa, I'm down. And we literally watched like five episodes in one day and they're an hour long episode. So like, girl. We, we were chilling, not Netflix and chilling. We were chilling with actually Netflix, but it wasn't Netflix. It was HBO Go. Anyway, not the point, but I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that show, it's, it's so bomb. We're already on season three and we've only been watching it for like a week. I think that girl, um, the Khaleesi girl is so pretty. Like I was trying to find her on Instagram just to follow her and see like, if she's that pretty in real life like obviously she's gonna be that pretty in real life she's the same person but like you know what i mean like real life people versus like actor people like what do you look like on a daily type of thing but i couldn't find her so i guess i need to search a little harder but i don't know like i'm just so impressed with the show and usually i'm not into like 300 like shows you know like about old times like medieval crap but I'm obsessed it's so good I think that's why I really like it I'm also really into like I know this is gonna sound really crazy but I'm really into like shooting and like blow them up like fire explosion like movies and shows like that's the kind of stuff I like to watch like I'm into killing that sounds so freaking crazy but like not like that I would never kill somebody I'm just saying but then also I'm a super squeamish person so the scenes that they're like torturing people like I have to look away like I can't hear the scream I can't hear like the sound I don't want to see it I just like things to blow up and I like fire and I like when they're like shooting bows and arrows and like all that jazz like it gets me hype I have these two Laura Mercier powders I have the regular translucent and then the medium deep translucent I'm gonna use a medium deep today all over my face powder this powder this Laura Mercier medium deep is so good my best friend Aaliyah actually put me onto this and she was like girl no like this powder is gonna change your life it's life-changing and I was like okay because I'm really easily persuaded to buy things I'm gonna take this one from my pro fusion palette yep does anybody else contour under their lip I don't know why 
but I like the effect it gives. Like, it makes my bottom lip look a little more pouty and, like, bigger, and I really like that. I buff that out. So, guys, I've been trying to wear blush lately because, um, I don't know. I like the way it looks on other people so much, and I really want it to work on my life, but I could just never get it to work out. I don't know, but I really want it to. I swear it. Setting on my face, I'm going to go in with my highlight. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Obsessed with it. I'm going to take the shades a Glow Getter and 143 mixed together. Ooh. This brow is stressing me out. I'm going to pluck it. What lashes shall we use today? It's already 10.35. My God, how long have I been sitting here? An hour? So I'm going to use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Dubai. And then I'm going to throw my MAC lipstick in the shade freckle tone right in the center i want to brighten this lip up a little bit more a bit of my kylie cosmetics lip gloss in the shade so cute on okay i love you love you too bye bye all right guys so that is this video complete i hope you guys enjoyed it um it really wasn't like an extreme makeup tutorial like I told you guys it's super simple um but I did post a picture with this look on my Instagram and I really liked how it turned out and I just felt like it was too simple to like do a tutorial with because all I did was put blue eyeliner in my waterline but I don't know I kind of just wanted to recreate it today I've been really wanting to recreate it so I thought I would just do it in like a chatty video so if you did enjoy this video, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that I know to do more of them. That really helps me out. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. You can click my face if you're on a desktop. It's going to be in a circle right here. All subscribing does is basically let you know whenever I post a video. So, um, you know, you don't have to be waiting on it for me because like, hi, you'll just get an email and saying, Taraji posted and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, that's so amazing. But <laughs> yeah, and if you haven't checked out my last video, go ahead and click it in the box right here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.